Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about Unitax. First, you can go to the GitHub link where Unitax is taught. And let's add Unitax to your project. You scroll to the table of content and click to UPM package. You copy the link. Then, open Unity. In Unity, click Window, Package Manager, and click Add Package from Git URL. You place the link and click Add. Let's wait a little bit. And it's done. You can now use Unitas in your project. The first example I will show you is using Unitas to delay your code, which means you can delay the execution of your method after a period of time. So let's start with the standard one. Normally, we're gonna use coroutine to delay your code. So in here, I have the invoke method delay functions which return an enumerator. It takes an action as a callback. And after one second, it will invoke the callbacks. So in the start method, I will start curtain and the callback will be locking hello world. So this is standard, right? Let's start Unity to see what is the result. There you go. After one second, it will print hello world in the log console. There is nothing wrong with this approach. What I'm suggesting here is an alternative way of delaying our codes by using Unitax. Let's take a look at the, at the example. So, in Unitas, to delay our code, we can use await unitas.delay and the parameter we, you're gonna need is the timestamp from seconds. In this case, we're gonna go with 3 seconds. The delay time gonna be a delta time, just like in Unity. And the player loop timing will be update and you are gonna pass the cancellation token sources which have been used to cancel our task so the logic here is we await the function and after it is done we're gonna lock in hello world let's start it with unity go to unity Delete this code and adding sample unit tax. Save it. Let's run. After three seconds, it's gonna print our hello world. All we have to do is one live code. You can push the await keyword and the async keyword at the start function. We're gonna await for the Unitas delay, timestamp from seconds, and pass how much time you're gonna wait. After this, it's just the full value. You can change the configuration as you want to figure out how it works. And I want to point out is one of the most amazing feature of Unitas is you can have customized cancellation token as for EVD. So in here, I have to initialize an instance of cancellation token source and pass it to Unitas. However, I can do this. This dot 
get cancellation token on destroy there you go this will automatically cancel your unit task on the destroy of your mono behavior object lifecycle after that it's gonna print our hello world although imitas and Corotin can both be used to delay your code the logic behind is quite different in Corotin we are actually yielding for frames and after a certain amount of time we will execute our logic in unit task however we await that logic to be happens in this case we await that we're gonna delay it for three seconds i want to point out another benefit of using unit task over coroutines which is it is independent from mono behavior. In this sample class, we cannot use coroutine to delay our code here, but we actually can do it with unitas. The same syntax in our function, and after we await it, we're gonna print out hello world. So, in here, we can just comment this. Initialize the class and we're going to go back to Unity to see the results. There you go. After a certain amount of seconds, it will print out hello world. And you're not gonna need mono behavior to delay your code. That is the end of this video. If you like it, please click the like button and surprise. Thank you for watching.